Hello, welcome to our pranayama practice. Today we'll be putting together several breathing exercises, which in yoga is the yoga limb that is called pranayama. Uh, in Sanskrit, pranayama is most commonly translated into English as life energy. And that makes sense, right? Uh, as long as we are alive, our breath will be with us. That simple inhale and exhale, any time that we're able to connect with our breath, whether we're doing a specific pranayama practice or simply feeling that inhale and exhale, we're able to come back into our body. We're able to allow ourselves to let go, to release a little bit of tension that we might have in the body. So to start with, just coming into a comfortable seated posture, you'll see I'm sitting on a blanket to elevate my hips. You can also sit on a chair or a couch, just anything that's comfortable for you. Yes, that means if you wanna lean against something for your back to have more support, you are very welcome to do that. Throughout this practice, you can keep your eyes closed to have it be a more inward focus, or if you rather, having the eyes open Whichever feels you, whichever makes you feel more comfortable. So we'll start by simply noticing the natural breath. And eyes can close if you like. And just starting to feel your inhale and exhale moving through the body. We're not doing anything to consciously change your breath right now. Although you might notice even being aware of your breath causes some changes, causes some shifts, that's okay. As you continue to breathe, start noticing what's happening with your body. With each inhale, you might feel your body expand, especially the mid body. You might feel the spine lengthen, getting yourself a little longer. And with the exhale, you might feel a release, a letting go, a contraction of the body. And just noticing this, those small micro movements of the body as you inhale and exhale. Bringing one hand to the heart, one hand to the stomach and continuing to feel the breath. Noticing how the hands extend out with the inhale and come closer to the center line of your body with the exhale. Checking back in with the breath. Again, not consciously changing it, but noticing has it shifted already. You might find your breath is slowing down, deepening. You might even notice a pause at the top of your inhale and the bottom of your exhale. Don't worry about adding that in if you don't feel that naturally. Just being aware if it's happening. Good. From here, we're going to come on into our Shanti breathing, bringing the hands right in front of the belly button, uh, about half an inch to an inch apart from the fingers. Inhale, hands come up as you continue to inhale, palms come up to the throat, still inhaling as the palms turn up to the sky and arms extend out. With the exhale in reverse, hands come back through to center, 
Once the hands get to the throat, the hands turn towards the body, continuing to exhale until the hands get to the belly button. Continuing like this, just moving at your breath rate, whatever pace feels good for you. If you move faster or slower than me, that's okay. And once you get the hang of it, you're welcome to reclose the eyes if you like. Noticing how the addition of the hands changes the sensations of the breath, if it does. If you want to take this up a notch, you're welcome to change how the hands are positioned, bringing the thumbs and fingers together and doing the same thing, inhaling as the palms are towards the body, palms go up, and then exhaling still in this little claw for the hands back down. What this does is channels our energy a little bit differently. It brings it into the meridians. So this can be a little bit more intense. If you're getting some cramping in the fingers or hands, go back to that original variation with the flat, flat palm. Know that either way, you're getting the benefits of this practice. What this practice does, it helps to re-regulate the nervous system and bring a little bit of energy back into the body, especially if you're doing the claw fingers. It's not the energy like having a second cup of coffee in the morning. Instead, it's a grounded energy. It's reconnecting to the energy that we have inside of us. Now, if you'd like to continue doing this practice, feel free to pause the video. If you'd like to stay with me next time the hands come down, just bringing the hands back into whatever posture feels right for you and tuning back into your natural breath. Again, eyes can be closed or open. Noticing once again how it is that your breath is flowing through the body. Has there been any shifts since the start of practice? Or does it feel the same? Also, checking in with the body. If you want to do a little bit of movement here, you can. You can rock the shoulders, do some seated cat cows. If the Lower back, or spine is feeling tight. Just seeing what feels right for you. If you want to stay in stillness, stay in stillness, right? Just feeling that inhale and exhale moving through the body. Yeah, beautiful. If you're moving, returning back to stillness, we're gonna come into our second pranayama exercise. This will be our alternate nostril breathing. Once again, this is wonderful for balancing our energy, but for bringing a balance between action and pause, between the two sides of our brain hemispheres. So how do we do that? Just bring your right hand into an L, bring that right thumb up to the right nostril. And then inhale, 
through the left nostril. When the lungs are full, you'll bring that right pointer finger onto the left nostril and then breathe out through the right nostril. Now still keeping that same nostril open. Inhale through the right. And when the lungs are full, that's when you switch which nostril is covered. Exhale through the left. Do that one more time together. Inhale through the left. Pause when the lungs are full, exhale through the right. Just continuing like this. Once again, eyes can be closed or open. And going at your pace, your rate, not worrying if it matches mine or not. We all have different breath lengths. you get confused about when to switch nostrils, switch nostrils when the lungs are full. Now if you'd like to take this a step further, we're going to switch the hands and bring the pointer finger and middle finger onto the third eye. Then we'll use the thumb and the pinky to switch which nostril is covered. But then that same thing. Inhale. When the lungs are full, switching which nostril is covered. And this exercise in particular, you might notice a pause when the lungs are full pause when the lungs are empty. Don't force that to happen, but if it does, know that that's natural. In this variation with our fingers on the third eye, it allows us to, to send one more signal to our nervous system that it is okay, that we are safe, And the next time you breathe out through the right nostril, bringing the hands back down into your favorite meditative position. Again, eyes can be closed or open. And one more time, just tuning in, noticing how the breath is flowing through your body. Becoming aware of any shifts in the breath since we first started. Becoming aware of any shifts in the body. And then finally, shifting the focus from the body, from the breath, into the mind. And just make a note, how is it that you're feeling now at the end of this practice? Do you feel more rooted, calmer? more awake. There's no wrong answer here. Just being aware of how it is that you're feeling now. Based on what came up for you in this practice, going ahead and setting a focus, setting an intention for the rest of your day. It could be just to remember to breathe throughout the day. It might be something more specific. Once you have that intention, you can bring the hands into prayer or onto the heart. It's taking a moment to really bring it into the body. 
When you are ready, you can open up the eyes and release the hands coming back into the space around you. Thank you so much for joining. Let me know how it went, how you felt, if any sensations arose during the practices. I'd love to hear about it and see you next time. Have a great rest of your day.